You were there. You saw it with your own eyes. You know of what I speak. A bloodthirsty, godless storm is gathering with Danton, Murat, and Robespierre at the Paris mob at its center. A terror is about to be unleashed, gentlemen, the likes of which France has never seen. You cannot make peace with the devil. But how will we possibly defend ourselves? We have no army. Who will help us? Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 But there is still time, my friends. Time? What time have we left? You are the one who needs to be reasoned with, my friend. Have you forgotten what has happened in just the last three years? I'll remind you then, all of you for that matter, the glorious history the triumph of reason. There you are. I think your father is about to deliver a speech. I know it well. We hear it every night at dinner. His list of intolerable acts. A la Francaise. July 14th, 1789. The storming of the Bastille. The Paris mob liberates a total of seven prisoners and parades the heads of the warden and the mayor of Paris on pikes. November 2nd, the National Assembly seizes all church property and possessions. February, February 13th, 1790. All monastic vows are abolished. November 27th, the oath of loyalty to the revolution. April, April 13th, 1791. The Pope forbids our priests to swear the oath. September 22nd, divorce legalized and the legal status of the church's sacraments denied. August, August 10th, 1792. The attack on the palace of the Tuileries and the slaughter of the king's Swiss guard. 600 cut to pieces. More heads on pikes. September, September 2nd, 2nd through 6th. The September massacres. 1,400 prisoners butchered in a single 48-hour period, most of them priests, religious, and supporters of the king. And finally, January, January 21st, 21st of this year, the execution of King Louis the 16th. And of course, that brings us to the latest outrage. The decree of February 24th. The conscription of an army of 300,000 to fight and die for this glorious new republic. Time, Captain Charette, how time flies when a nation is eating its young. Do you think I have a heart of stone? Do you think I do not hear the cries of the innocents and long to avenge them? But how? Who are we against so powerful an enemy? He's right, Stofflet. What defenses will we have if they send their armies? What possible hope do we have of victory? This would be no ordinary war, my friends. We would not be fighting for land or gold or nation. They have killed our temporal king. And now they want to kill our heavenly king. Who is worth fighting for, or even dying for, if not him? <laughs>